I'm Miles Allen from the University of Oxford, and last year, before COP26, I said this. Net zero means for every tonne of carbon dioxide we release into the atmosphere, we actively remove another tonne. We need to conserve our biosphere carbon stocks, but we also need to reduce the production of fossil carbon in the first place, and crucially, we need to invest in safe, permanent disposal of carbon dioxide for those fossil sources that we can't eliminate. So given the lack of progress since COP26, we're getting to the point now where the one institution in the world that has the resources, the engineering capability, and the access to capital to keep 1.5 degrees alive is the global fossil fuel industry. The difference in what we pay for gas right now in the UK and what it costs to extract that gas and deliver it to our homes is enough to recapture the carbon dioxide generated by that gas back out of the atmosphere and pump it back under the North Sea twice over. But we cannot expect the industry to do this on its own. It needs regulation to make it clear that a licensing requirement of continuing to sell products that cause global warming is to dispose of the carbon dioxide they generate. This will, of course, increase the costs of supplying fossil fuels. But we don't have to go to 100% recapture overnight. We've got 30 years to get to net zero. We should be at 10% by 2030, 50% by 2040, and 100% by 2050. And if we do that, the industry should be responsible for paying for the cleanup of the products it's selling. We have to stop fossil fuels from causing global warming before the world stops using fossil fuels.